One of PMA's most popular features is the Google Sheets add-on. With our Google Sheets connector, you can import almost any data source and start designing your spreadsheet report. Our Google Sheet connector is a great choice if you prefer to have your data more in the raw structured format rather than the Looker Studio presentation tool. For instance, you may need to calculate the differences between successive values to show month over month growth. Google Sheets can perform those calculations on your data. And unlike Looker Studio, you can blend more than five data sources in Google Sheets. You can also create a Google Sheets report to use as a data source for your PMA connectors, or import your spreadsheet to other data sources like Tableau or Power BI. The possibilities are really unlimited. First, make sure your subscription includes the PMA spreadsheet add-on. This add-on is already included with the Pro Enterprise plans, and you can add it to your single and business plan for $49.95 a month. Next, start in Google Sheets and open a new spreadsheet. Next, click on Extensions and go to the Add-ons menu and click Get Add-ons. In the search field, type in Power My Analytics and then click the Power My Analytics connector. Once you're in the Power My Analytics app, you're going to click Install and you're going to press Continue and then select your Google account and then click Authorize the Add-on. Once the Add-on is installed, go to your spreadsheet and select the Extension menu, go to Power My Analytics and click Login and then click the blue Login button. After your PMA account is authorized, click the red OK button in the hub and then return back to your spreadsheet. Then refresh or press F5 to reload your spreadsheet. Then go back to the extension menu, go to Power My Analytics and click Show Sidebar. The Sheets Data Connector sidebar will appear on the right. Now you're ready to create your first PMA report with Google Sheets. The Sheets Data Connector sidebar is an easy and powerful tool for creating and managing your reports in Google Sheets. To create the new report, click the blue plus icon next to the reports and select Add Report. Choose the connector you'd like to use. For this example, we'll use Facebook ads. Next, under Data Account, select your hub and then choose which account you want to use for your data source. Next, you can configure your options for your data source. For example, when using a Facebook ads data source, you can choose one or more ad accounts you'd like to use and then click Select Config. Next, click Choose Date Range and pick a date range to use for your data. PMA includes a number of common date ranges to use or you can use a custom range. When you're finished, click Set Range. Now it's time to choose the fields you want to include in your spreadsheet. Under fields, you can choose to view metrics, dimensions, or both. Click on select field and begin typing the name of the field or scroll down to any of the fields. In this example, we're going to choose date and campaign name as our metrics and impressions and clicks as our dimensions and then click set fields. You can always go back and change the fields included in your report later on. Remember, including a large number of fields or a long date range may cause longer loading times. You also have the option to filter the data by applying the condition to any field by using a comparison operator such as greater than, less than, or equal to. You can choose to include or exclude data using a filter and even multiple filters at once. Finally, under the options menu, click order by and select one of the fields to sort by. In this example, we'll sort this order by date in ascending order. You can also set a limit of the number of rows included in your sheet. Enter a name for your report and click the blue Create Report button. And your report will begin loading and the spreadsheet will populate with your data. And now your Google Sheets report is ready to use. After your report is set up, you can manage and edit this report and others from the Sheet Data Connector sidebar. You can click the blue refresh icon to load the latest data of all your reports. Or to refresh one of your reports individually, click the three dots next to the report name and then click refresh. If you want to keep your Google Sheets report up to date with the latest data, click the blue alarm clock next to reports to schedule a refresh. In this example, we'll select a daily refresh. Then click the blue save button to schedule the refresh. It's that easy. You're now ready to enter the world of Google Sheets reports. If you still have questions, contact us anytime at support.powermyanalytics.com. Catch you next time.